much for stopping by and visiting with me at Stella Ruth on today. I'm still getting used to saying that name, so bear with me. And so, yes, I am taping outside for just a hot moment because it's a beautiful day and the light is great. <laughs> so, and why not? So, what are we going to do today? Today, we are going to continue our All Salads All Week series. And today, I'm going to show you how to make a crispy eggplant salad. Absolutely delicious. If you don't really know if you like eggplant, give it a try. It's really worth it. It kind of takes on the flavor of whatever you're putting it with or whatever you season it with. Absolutely delicious. So, let's stay tuned and see what's going on in the kitchen. Alright guys, so now before we get started on our eggplant salad, we are going to um, make our kind of like a sauce or a salad dressing that's going to go on our crispy eggplants. We're going to do some crispy eggplants for this. And what we're going to do here is we're going to make a pepper sauce. But before we make it, I like to uh, roast my peppers. And so I have a piece of yellow bell pepper that I had left over. Let me get these seeds out of here. Okay. And don't forget, guys, to keep your little trash bowl or something around when you're cooking so that uh, you don't always be looking for a trash can or something like that. So I'm going to, um, I have a little piece of yellow bell pepper that I had left over. I had a half of a red bell pepper and I just cut another one in half too because I want a whole one. So. And I have a piece of onion that I had left over from something I cooked yesterday. So I'm going to slice up this onion and just leave it in the slices because we're going to blend this all together. And then I'm going to take these bell peppers and put them in a piece of foil along with the onion. I probably need to get another piece of foil. Sorry about that, guys. I didn't have enough foil, so I had to go get some more. <laughs> so we're going to get a large piece of foil here. thought I had more than that little piece. I'm going to switch that over. I'm going to leave it on that little piece, give it a little extra protection. And then all I'm going to do, now you see we have our sliced onions and some um, our peppers and everything and all I'm going to do is I'm going to take some olive oil and I have this cooking spray. It's actually olive oil spray that I got at the grocery store and I'm just going to spray those veggies there with some oil so that it roasts real pretty. Then I'm going to cover this up. Now you can do this one or two ways. You can actually put this in a large skillet on top of the stove if you like I had some onions fall out there we're gonna put those up I'm gonna you can actually put this in a large skillet on top of the stove and put, a top, put just a little bit of water at the bottom and put a top on top that way you don't burn the bottom of the foil and it still roasts and you just simmer it on um, medium low for roughly about 30 45 minutes just enough to get them really really soft or you can put this in the oven on a sheet at 400 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes and it does the same thing I'm going to do it on top of the stove today because it's hot outside and I don't want to heat up the house so we're going to roast this and then we're going to while this is roasting we're going to be back and get our eggplant ready for uh, to be crisped so now, while we're roasting our peppers for our sauce that's going to go on top of our crispy eggplant salad, we're going to get our eggplant ready. So you just need one eggplant, and usually if you're just making enough for just you, um, half of the eggplant is fine. Um, so I, you only need a few pieces because the eggplant can be really filling. So, And I'm going to cut the end off. Some people leave the skin on. I prefer not to, so I'm going to peel it. I'm going to peel this skin off here. So I got my handy little peeler. You can use a knife. Oops. <laughs> you can use a knife if you like to peel the skin. But I find that when I use the peeler, I don't lose as much of the eggplant. Because I can be a little clumsy with a knife sometimes. 
so this just makes it a little easier I can have what I want without uh, losing a lot of the eggplant get it peeled here okay so now we peeled all of that off and you know usually guys I have most everything already prepped uh, for you but today I wanted to kind of show you some of the stuff that I do to get prepared and I always go and get the ends as well so we're going to move this over to the trash bowl which just happens to be right in my sink right next to me <laughs> so I don't have to worry about it all right now sorry if I can get in the shot so you can see okay so now I'm going to take this knife and just slice my eggplant not too too thin but not too thick because I'm going to crisp it in a skillet instead of in the oven today because it's gonna I want it to go a little quicker all right so about this size should do and I only need a few I'm gonna go ahead and sli finish slicing the rest of it and then uh, we'll be back to cook it up okay guys so we're gonna crisp up these eggplants normally I would do this in the oven but uh, it's kind of warm, so I didn't want to heat up the house today. So, sorry I didn't even pick that up. <laughs> Force I had it. So what I'm doing is I'm pouring in some uh, avocado oil cooking spray. And the reason I'm pouring it in, so putting in so much, I get this one from Sprouts. I'm putting in so much because I want to create just a little layer on the bottom of the pan. I got my uh, heat on medium high. I've already seasoned and dusted my eggplant with a little bit of um, breadcrumbs and I used some just some uh, herb sea salt and some of my zest for life seasoning and if you guys ever want to get that oh my god it's heavenly has no salt in little lemon zest makes things taste absolutely wonderful okay so I'm laying my eggplant down into the bottom of the plant pan what you want to do make sure guys that you do not overcrowd the pan it's, especially if you're doing a light fry or anything like that because when you put too much in the pan it creates steam and then it starts to make things mushy so we want to keep it you put as much as you can but don't overcrowd so about three or four pieces in the bottom of the pan is usually really well really good I'm sorry so I'm um, gonna do this until it's golden brown on both sides Sorry, I couldn't find my tongues. And and um, it usually only takes it a couple of minutes on both sides to brown. See how it's already getting nice and crispy? Now you can if you want to. If you don't want to use the cooking spray method like I'm using, you can put a little bit of oil in the bottom of the pan, a little coconut oil, olive oil. If you're going to do a light fry, I would, I would say use some coconut oil or avocado oil because olive oil although you can fry in it it burns fast so it, it, it doesn't tolerate high heat very well so you don't want something that can that's not going to tolerate the heat grapeseed oil tolerates the heat coconut oil tolerates the heat so does avocado oil okay so now we're going to finish browning these and then we're going to head over to the other side to start putting our salad together okay so now while we're still waiting on our peppers to finish roasting which should be just a few minutes from now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, finish up the other parts of this salad that I'm gonna do I'm gonna take these cucumbers that I've already sliced up and diced sorry and put them into a small bowl with this one tomato that I sliced and diced and put that in the bowl with it as well and as you can see, I have a couple of uh, sage leaves, fresh sage leaves on the cutting uh, sheet. That is actually for the sauce, uh, the little dressing, roasted red pepper dressing that we're going to make. So I'm just going to slide that to the side for now so I can clean off that board. You know, when you cut up tomatoes and all of that, and all the juice and everything gets on everything. So excuse me while I wipe my little area here <laughs> so all right so now we have our little 
cucumber and bell pepper, I mean cucumber and uh, tomato in this bowl. I have a lime, just one lime that I'm going to use. And I'm rolling it in a lot of times, guys, I learned this years ago when I was younger, you know, back in the day when you used to eat lemons and limes with salt on them when you were young and you just thought that was the business. <laughs> so you roll a lime, it makes it soft, softer and easier to use. So all I'm going to do, let me move this so that you guys can kind of see. There we go. Is I'm just going to squeeze this lime juice right on top of the cucumber and the tomato and you know when, when back in the day when you know you make cucumber salad even now you make cucumber salad you use slices you can dice them you can use your tomatoes you can do it with vinegar or you can use actually use lemon juice or lime juice to just give it a different little taste and it's still about the same but till and it tastes re really good excuse me had a little bit of the hiccups. Tastes really good. So I squeeze that lime juice on there. I'm going to take some of my herb sea salt. And I'm going to just sprinkle that on. Just a pinch. Yes, and I keep it in a big canister because I make so much of it <laughs> that uh, a shaker just won't do. And I'm going to take a pin two pinches of pepper. Okay, and then I'm just going to take a spoon and stir that around. And all that, all I did, guys, was just try to create another level of flavor for this salad. So we're gonna have that coolness and the crispness with the warm dressing, with the crispy eggplant on some lettuce. It's gonna be really beautiful. Okay, so now I'm gonna go check on our peppers, and we'll be right back. Okay, guys. Now, as you can see, our peppers are really good looking. Nice and soft. You see, I've got a fork and can cut right through it, and that's what you want them to be nice and soft. You can cook them a little longer if you like a little more of the char, which I do sometimes, but I'm trying to uh, get things ready now. We have our onions that have already, you know, uh, wilted down and they're nice and soft as well, which is great. So now what we're going to do is get this ready to go in the blender. Sorry about that. I should have been better prepared. And uh, I have one of those uh, ninjas my daughter got me for my birthday a couple of years ago and um, so I got one of those ninjas and it came with these two little personal ninjas personal uh, blender cups and I find that when I'm making like salad dressings and things like that that really works and it doesn't create such a big mess so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our peppers down into we're gonna put the peppers down in it's gonna be beautiful and see that steam let you know it's looking good and I want a little, little piece of lonely so we're gonna put our onions down in there that's all gonna blend together I could just pick up the foil and pour but I have been really clumsy today uh, tell you the story later <laughs> but yeah I've been really really clumsy today so I'm trying to be as careful as possible Okay, move that out of the way. Now, in here, we are going to put about a quarter cup of olive oil. I'm just going to put a quarter cup of olive oil, just a little bit. Let's see, pouring that oil in there. It's going to be good. A quarter cup of olive oil. You're going to need about a third of a cup of white wine vinegar. Or you can use regular vinegar, you can use apple cider vinegar, whatever vinegar you like. I just prefer the white wine with this particular dressing of mine. And then we're going to add in some sea salt. I'm using my herb sea salt, but we're going to add in some sea salt, a couple of pinches of that. Um, we're going to add in some, a couple of pinches of pepper. And then I will put about a quarter teaspoon of cumin and a teaspoon of coriander if you have it. Uh, if you don't, you can kind of season it to taste. But that's what I use. Coriander and cumin really brings out the flavor in those peppers. And so, and you can even add a little dill weed, a uh, little rosemary if you like, a little basil. 
gives it a little Italian flavor. Now, you remember we had those sage leaves, these here? I just have about three or four sage leaves that I picked off and they're, they're fresh and I'm just gonna break them and drop them down in there. Okay, I'm gonna put the top on and we're gonna blend this and then this is going to be ready. And then we're gonna come back and build our salad up. Alrighty, darlings, we're almost done with this salad. What we're gonna do now is build it. What I have here is some butter lettuce that I've already rinsed off. I'm going to pull off some of the leaves and use those as a bed for my nice little eggplant salad. Um, or what they would, some people would call it bib lettuce. You can use romaine. Romaine makes a really nice bed for, her, for this particular salad. But I'm gonna use this today. Now your butter lettuce or your bib lettuce is really good for when you're making like wraps and you're not wanting to use bread like you're wanting to do like a sandwich or something like that you want to do like lettuce wraps oh my god this is really good for that it holds up really well so we've laid our lettuce down now we're going to lay down our cucumber and tomatoes that we've gotten ready here how nice that looks already and then we're going to take our eggplant that we crisped just a tad and you know eggplant has a tendency it can be really crispy or it can be really soggy either way it's really good but if you want it more crispy you kind of do the whole dredging and batter and all that kind of stuff but I don't like to do that a lot okay we're going to put our eggplant there just line it up and this particular one is actually enough for two people. And so you can make more if you like. And then we're going to top it with more of our tomatoes and cucumbers. This actually looks really good. I'm loving this so far. And then we're going to take our salad dressing that we made, our red pepper dressing. And then we're just going to pour it along the top. Doesn't that look delicious? It does. And guess what? Your salad's ready. Alrighty, guys. There we have it. I, we made us a nice, beautiful eggplant crispy eggplant sorry salad you can make those crispy in the oven just put a little breadcrumbs on them and stick them in the oven and cook them for about 20 minutes at about 350 degrees I prefer not to put them in the oven today I normally would put them in the oven but it's kind of hot so I didn't want to heat up the house <laughs> you know so I did it on top of the stove if you do the batter things they get a little bit more crispy but I didn't want to do all the egg batter and all that today I want it quick easy simple but you can do it either way. If you go check back some videos back, I do have a crispy eggplant video and I also have an eggplant parmesan video where I show you how to make them crispy in the oven. So you can check those out. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this, this uh, recipe today and it's nice, refreshing, and it's absolutely delicious. Give it a try. If you try it, you won't be disappointed. I promise you. If you're a lover of eggplant, you will love this. If you're not really a lover of eggplant, you, you, you will. You'll like it. <laughs> You'll like it if you try it. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed this recipe. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and subscribe. That way you can get uh, some notifications and everything of every time we get a video uploaded. I try to upload as much as possible. It's been hectic the past few months. So I haven't been as consistent as I was before. But I'm getting back. I'm getting back there. And also give us a thumbs up. And then share this video with someone that might want to try something new. Um, it's always wonderful to try something new. Newness is good, guys. <laughs> so, also, if you want to know how to get our signature seasonings, sauces, marinades, and salad dressings, I've put the link down below. There will be, as always, a shameless plug at the back end of this video. 
I thank you so very much for inviting me and allowing me to spend a little time with you and just taking a moment out your busy lives to spend some time with little old me. As always, guys, I love you, love you, love you. Thank you so much. God bless you and happy to be.